We're paying particular attention to how to maximize your finest assets on your silhouette and minimize the rest. Hi, I'm Elaine here with the Shepherds Fashions team. This week we're focused on the apple body shape. You'll meet Karen. Karen is a near and dear friend of us here at Shepherds. She's a customer and whenever she walks through the door in the store, she is a ray of sunshine. She has never let any health struggles bring her down. Hi, my name is Karen. I'm an apple shape. I'm 5'1". When I was younger, I was always um, a column, mm -hmm. but uh, I morphed into an apple shape. So my problem is my midsection. My legs are perfectly shaped. This is one of my assets. I've also had health struggles. I've had three cancers. So it changes, all of this changes your body, especially the treatments. So it's been a bit of a struggle, but I love fashion. I like to look good. I like to feel good and it makes me happy. Love to shop. <laughs> <laughs> and Shepherds is my happy place. Styling the apple shape starts with smart separates like tanks and tunics that take care of that midsection, Ch such as this piece from Simply. Add a cardigan over it, and of course you want to showcase that those assets, those great legs, with a pull-on pant, one of Karen's favorites in real life. She elongates the frame with a long pendant just at the belly button. The eye is flowing up and down now. And of course, a dark color recedes any kind, any part of the body that you want to minimize. So here we've done the tank that you first saw as an underpinning over this soft A-line shaped tunic. Again, the printed pant, and there you go. Color blocking 101, we're making it better with tonal dressing here. Notice on the right how the eyes flowing up and down because you've got the navy as the dominant color on the pant. That adds richness. The pops of white on the collar and the shoe are visually interesting. The knit jogger is a good bottom for the apple in a casual setting. It fits over the midsection, you'll have to take our word for it, and it streamlines the leg. But this top is too overwhelming in its proportion, in its texture, in its color play against the soft denim. How about this? The proportions here are just right. It's a tonal look again, and we have an overwhelmed Karen's frame, but we've taken care of that midsection, which is the apple's um, challenging area. The It's very casual chic. Now, let's add an accessory. This is big, bold, and beautiful, but we can tame it and make it super impactful. So we've done a waffle jacket in this kind of sunflower color. Karen looks like a ray of light here, and the uh, accessory, the scarf, really brings the look together and imparts a strong vertical line. Buttoning up the jacket, as you're seeing on the left, visually cuts the frame in two. On the right, the eye flows. Okay, the wide leg option for petite, yes, you can do it. But first we're gonna talk about sleeve, sleeve styling. In each video we do, we will always say that if a sleeve ends up at the hemline of a top, it um, adds volume. Break up the sleeve, bring it up, and all of a sudden you've made a difference. You also minimize the midsection with a strong pendant that lies flat. And here we are on the right. We've tweaked the look from head to toe. Start with color. Uh, trending colors right now, lavenders, violets, so pretty against the skin, and a great tee. So we're doing soft dressing because you've asked us to provide you with looks that you can wear on a day basis and here we go we've got leading lines with a really good cardigan that starts with a shawl collar elongated lapel again creating a strong vertical at the right in the center of the body so that is lengthening for whatever height you are you have to find your optimal proportions and then find tops and uh, cardigans third pieces that work with that even if you are petite, you should say yes to longer lengths when appropriate, when they streamline your body. Go to minimalistic dressing without a lot of extra bells and whistles, and you'll be amazed at how it can maximize your height, whatever body shape you are. Karen is the embodiment of body positivity. Thank you for modeling for us this week. In closing, I'd like to remind you that updating your style is an ongoing journey. 
And it should be fun because fashion should be fun. It's about looking at the trends and selecting the ones that smile to you. For example, the shoe. It's new and it's really on trend. The beauty of it all is that it is super comfortable, but it lends an upscale, updated look to almost anything in my closet. So we invite you to always think of updating your look. It keeps things fresh and fun and fashionable. So ciao for now. We hope to see you in an upcoming segment. As always, we look forward to your positive comments and suggestions. See you soon.